What up, tubers? It's your boy ATV Man 24. A um, lot of things have changed since you last seen me. Um, in a video previous to this one, I kind of got gave you a glimpse of my new ride that I got. Um, also, showed you that we're putting the system in it. I was said in the video that I was going to do a base demo later, but it got kind of late, really quick, and we weren't able to do it. So I was just going to give you a little bit more. I better look at my ride here. This is a 1998 GMC Yukon, and I picked this up. I, if you remember my previous videos, I had an '88 Chevy Suburban, and I traded that in. And I also had a Honda Civic, or not a Honda, a Honda Accord, a '98 Honda Accord. They also uh, traded in for this thing. Um, I'll show you a picture. I'll just throw up a picture of the car real quick. And then um, that's the car that I had. But here's my new ride. It's got the 5.7, 350. Definitely need to upgrade the alternator. But there's a lot more options on this than my 88 ever had to put alternators in. Um, as you can see, there's my uh, hot gauge out of my Suburban. The fuse block is actually mounted to the fender well underneath this box. Um, couldn't really find that another better place. I didn't want to go clear back in the back. Um, I just wanted this cable as short as possible, so it sits right underneath there. It's a nice short cable. Um, I'm going to be working on it today. I'm going to be upgrading the wire from this, from right back there. I'm going to be running the new wire over to there. And then I'm going to be upgrading the ground. Um, it just currently mounts from here down to the body right there with that little tiny wire. But I'll be running one from probably like right this this point a ground wire from here over also. And the nice thing about this truck is it's got a spot already for a battery. I just gotta get the battery. Once I throw a battery in here, I'll run some hot gauge from there over to the battery, hook it up, get everything running. As you can see, it's my new ride, full leather, pretty loaded. Um, Got the rear AC in there. There's my head unit, JVC. Oh yeah, I love the JVC. I'll show ya. There's some hot gauge that I picked up. There's the ground. I bought five feet of that at four dollars a pop. Kind of expensive, four dollars a pop for that stuff. And then this stuff um, was five dollars. Um, the guy said he doesn't use the black that often, that's why he sold it to me cheaper. But five dollars for this. I only paid three dollars a foot for this stuff. But it's stiff, it's not a flexi line. This stuff's the ultra flex, it, you can bend it pretty quick, easily. But it is true out gauge. So I got that, a couple connectors in there. And there's my box, as you've probably seen in the other video. Um, one thing I did upgrade, I don't know if it showed it in another video or not, but on my Suburban I only had 4 gauge running from my power block here up to this amp. Well with this flexi stuff it's a lot easier to get into there. So I just cut off a foot of it, ran it from my power up to there, cut off a foot of the black, ran it from my, my power, that. So I got hot gauge going to the amp now, uh, hopefully that helps out. I didn't have to cut down these these box actually except the op gauge in those two slots, so I didn't have to cut anything or trim anything. So and they're just right by each other, so I've got good power transfer between the two. And there's my crappy like eight gauge going over to this my four channel. It's not currently hooked up. Everything is running off the deck right now as far as the surround speakers, but you got the speakers up there I need to upgrade. Got speakers in these doors. I need to upgrade. No one's up there. Uh, I got my six and a half for my suburban that I'll be putting in here, but I don't have any six by nines. 
and then you get some more six and a half for right there but that's what it's got going and that's what's going on so far show you a little bit more here and I'll put, when I get it out in the sun I'll show you it's in really really great shape the Yukon great shape stock rims stock tires it's all stock not fancy at all it has 178,000 miles kind of high but it runs great there's my dick JVC KD-8815 is what that is got Bluetooth on it got my little microphone up there for my Bluetooth that way I could run hands-free which is kind of nice comes in really handy got the USB drive in the glove box there and there's the good old base knob so yeah as soon as I get I'm gonna be upgrading that wire there and I'll give you an update here in just one moment Stay tuned.